Good morning, fellow humans, fellow homo sapiens. It is Monday morning. I know a lot of you are all fired up about Mondays. And this is Rusty the Monk in a <laughs> dirty thing. This is called an American rag, this hoodie. I bought a hoodie and they sent me this for free. It's it's crazy. This is the most comfortable thing. <clears throat> it's 100% cotton. It just hangs on you. But anyway, guys, it is Monday morning. It is cool here. And uh, let me see. I haven't opened Boondi yet. It is partly cloudy here and 51, I think. Now we'll find out what the day and date is. Hey, Google, what's the time and date? <clears throat> it is 6.46 a.m., the 21st of May, 2018. You realize it's May the 21st. I left Texas on March the 12th. And uh, we're still out here, guys. What happened? <laughs> what what caused all this? Anyway, yeah, I'm here for a while. I mean, you certainly wouldn't want to go back now in 100 degree heat and humidity. So yeah, you know the RV park's okay. You, the only thing you really give up is a little privacy, and you know. But the trade out is you know you get a full hookup as compared to boondocking where you have a lot of privacy. So you know, it's, life is just a series of trade outs. And you got to balance them all. Hey, Google, tell us a joke. It's a wonder how stadiums get so hot when they're filled with fans. <laughs> crazy. Okay, a random joke from the joke book. Uh, <clears throat> wife to husband, let's go out and have some fun tonight. Husband, okay, but if you get home before I do, leave the hall light on. <laughs> It's not true that married men live longer than single men. It only seems longer. <laughs> oh, golly. At least you gotta have, you got to have a little humor in your life, right? Art Dog, seems like you've been out on the road for a while, but you still appear to be really enjoying yourself. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, I plan to go out and do a variety of uh, different camping things, and I did. I did some boondocking, some dry camping, some electric hookup camping and now I got a full hookup so yeah we're just moving right along here and uh, just you know it's man time just zips by what well, you know we're, we're starting or beginning the third month crazy man uh, Pamela S. Teehee interesting little jog through town nice quiet town I love it after living in Tulsa my whole W the, the exception of 14 months in Kansas City, Missouri, I'd say that's a little piece of heaven. I could adapt to that quickly. <clears throat> yeah. She says she enjoys the videos, and I thank you for that, Pamela. Pamels, it's P-A-M-E-L-S. This is Nam Tran. This is uh, the police officer in New Mexico, very nice. He helped me with heart when I was, when I went on road when I on road trip and I ran out of gas middle of somewhere at midnight on the freeway very cold weather he come and helped me buy gas and very pleased full very thank you well Nam Tran very thank you <clears throat> Pamel S Pamels again on says I don't know why but you may be the official town guide by now you're a regular celebrity now in that community I've never seen any of New Mexico before other than Albuquerque and that was 40 years ago wow aren't we getting up there yeah we are we're at 6600 feet mark 73573 I could easily live there year round after researching the winter weather it's not any worse than where I live <clears throat> yeah it, it's it's a it, it's not that bad I don't think because I talked to a lady that lived here from that had moved here from Dallas Texas and she says about the same as Dallas no big deal Tracy Phillips great video Rusty looking forward to your next one well thank you me too <laughs> this is it Dan Frenzel Mr. Rusty was a rebel who roamed through the west Mr. Rusty was a rebel who wandered along alone yeah that's true I'm certainly out here by myself me myself and I and you guys Dorian Christie Rusty, thanks for this video. This is about the small town. This is so refreshing to see that little places like this still exist. Your small town videos work better than anything for lowering my stress. Enjoy life in Capitan. Make any videos you feel like. You won't lose any of us, Rusty's Rangers, if you enjoy yourself. Capitan seems even more like, more like little town heaven to me. 
the lack of growth is one sweet reason to love Capitan. Yeah, he's got more. But anyway, Dorian, thank you very much. Rick and Amy Clark, that was certainly a nice, quiet little town, Rusty. Or certainly is a nice, quiet little town. Have a great night. Well, I did. I slept like a baby with my new pillows, my new memory foam pillows. Paul Harrington, small town life. Hi, Rusty. You mentioned looking at a house there around 98K. Are you considering a sticks and bricks? If the price is right and give up the RV life, no, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not doing that. <clears throat> no, I'm not going. I'm, I'm going to hang on to the RV. That gives me a sense of freedom. But you know, I have, I'm looking at uh, you know single wide mobile homes. I've looked at uh, park model RVs because you can get a single wide uh, mobile home for you know uh, without any bells and whistles around thirty, thirty five, and you can get a park model uh, RV for the same price, but what happens is if it's if it's titled RV, then some places won't let you park it for more than six months, and I'm sure that's going to apply here. But if it's a single wide mobile home, then you can live in it, even though it's the same size. <coughs> so it's just that RV versus mobile home label. Carl Schutz, you passed right by a couple of properties I'm looking at. Wonderful neighborhood. Well, I hope we're not looking at the same one, Carl. <laughs> first come, first serve. Pamels S. T. Uh, read. Whoa, read at read a bit. Something on K. N. Wikipedia on Fort Stockton. It says it was also used. Oh, Fort Stanton, Fort Stockton. <laughs> it says it was also used as a detention center for German and Japanese American, as well as. 411 German nationals taken from their luxury liner, Columbus, who were distressed German seamen paroled from German embassy World War II. Interesting history. You know, in Kennedy, Texas, a small town in South Texas where I grew up, uh, they had, in World War II, they had uh, two, deter two large uh, deterrent or prisons, uh, prisoner of war camps in Kennedy, Texas. They sure did. And also, I don't know what they did to them, but out at the little cemetery in Kennedy, they had graves where they would actually put six in one hole and cover it up. I remember that. I really do. Kevin Conway, what if we subscribers all got together to come visit you on some weekend in the future? Let's assume 30% of subscribers show and we stay in Capitan, Ruidoso, area filling local motels and RV parks and eating and shopping at local establishments. We could join you in a video walk through Capitan, and each of us would tip you at least a dollar for the entertainment that you provide us. Would that, wouldn't that be something? Uh, that's a good plan, Kevin. Let's see you pull it off. <laughs> a good, good idea. Yeah, kind of like herd marbles is what he's into. But anyway, thanks, Mr. Winger, 1951. You'd make a good mayor, and I already know what you'll say. But you have common sense. You are an effective communicator, and I suspect very honest. Three qualities which couldn't be applied to 10% of the elected officials anywhere in this country and far less percentage in many states. And forget about Washington, D.C. You know, I don't think honesty is your best policy in politics, okay? Because you gotta, you got to make some deals. Kevin Loving, next headline you will read in the paper is YouTube star moves to Capitan. <laughs> Man, I'm, I, you guys are you dreamers, aren't you? I'm, I'm, I'm just me. I don't want to be a star. I'm me. Wayman Samang, thanks Rusty for the Sunday drive. You're welcome. David Bricky, Rusty, you have a great laugh there. Why would you come back? <clears throat> Why would you come back to Texas in that hot weather? I ain't. Unless something changes dramatically. <clears throat> Creaky old man, Rusty, nobody can say you're lazy about doing videos. No, I, I'm. Well, you know, they're just simple, easy things. I mean, you know, it's not like, I don't edit them, I don't do anything. It just You just hold the camera up, shoot a video, and post it, that's it. Uh, it says, I'm sure it was reported on, oh, he's talking about, <clears throat> it says they did three Sundays, it says, when I expected you would have taken a day off to watch the war royal wedding in London, I'm sure it was reported on at length in the Roswell newspaper, which you were reading at breakfast in the restaurant, right? No, there was no national news or world news in there, just mostly local, all, as far as I can tell, all local stuff. And uh, no, they don't, I, I don't even give a damn about that royal wedding. I mean, what the hell is that? What do, I can't even believe the royals 
still exist. I can't believe that the monarchy is, is still there, you know. But, you know, they won't, they won't do away with it. Whatever. It's their choice, not mine. But, you know, I don't care about it. I mean, it's just, it's, all it is is public relations for that gang. That's all. You know, they live off the fat of the land. They, for, they've lived off of it for hundreds of years, maybe thousands. Still getting away with the same scam. Mike Butterfield, Rusty, my neighbors are in their 80s. They have an older class A. They spend their winters in Yuma. Summers they drive to California Sierras to a trout stream in the pines absolutely free. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. It encourages me. Ron Bailey, uh-oh, Rusty, you look like a convict in that orange shirt. How do you know I'm not? <laughs> Charles Ramirez. Uh, life in a small town, words of wisdom. If it tastes good, it's bad for you. If it tastes really good, then it's really bad for you. Brush your teeth after eating any sweets. Drink lots of water. Very true. Yeah, the sweets are not the best thing in the world for you. Whirling Dervish. I live in a small town in Ohio, and I love it, and I understand that a small town doesn't offer many career opportunities, so for young people, it's uh, usually not a good fit. However, since Capitan and Ruidoso both are tourist city cities, there obviously is something to do for every, for somebody. Yeah, there's always something going on in Ruidoso. Uh, they say that some people who are born and raised in New York City have never been to or care to go to the Statue of Liberty, yet people from all over the world come to see it. I guess one man's trash is another man's treasure. Very true. Yeah, sometimes we overlook the obvious. You know, there's places in, around Central Texas that I've never been to, you know, I mean, and, and, and don't care to go to. Sam Hagen's, I could live there too, but th then the population would be too high. LOL, yeah. Uh, Purge, how many years are you going to be 72? Actually, just uh, two more months. Let's see, June, yeah, July the 14th. Uh, J Wall 10, I'll be 73. J Wall 10, life in small town. They shoot a cannon here at the football games when we score two Friday nights. Everyone is at the game. Though it takes two districts to make a seven-man team now we have two main streets north and south only seven cross streets first through seventh all all gravel <clears throat> anyway he's got a long comment uh anyway talks about how small his town is but yeah thank you jay wall 10 appreciate it mike brandenburg wow it looked like you have s someone living in a casita in your rv park close to you these things seem to hold up very well no wood no rubber no rubber roof pretty much all fiber yeah they're pretty much uh, the uh, casitas are all fiberglass even the bottom it's a complete ball and that's what they do last a long time uh it's an old one though it is a, the one you're talking about is an old one rodland 100 pretty little town boss glad you're happy there it sounds like you never want to leave well actually what I, my plan now is if i have a plan at all is to acquire a place to park my rv for six months a year and do that for a few years and see how it works out. Worst thing that happened is I end up selling the place I acquire and hopefully make a little money off of it. Uh, Sonny Radler, I enjoyed that video. Thank you, thank you. Kitty Land, Rusty, this little town got best promo video, promo video from you. And I came to your video to meditate myself. It's always relaxing, mind cleaning, great lifestyle. Have a nice week. You too. Kitty, Kitty Land. John Gertbach. <clears throat> Nice place, that fort. Interesting place. Love the surroundings as well. Gr great for walks. Yeah, that would be a good place to just chill out and take a long walk. Life in a small town. Spiderhead. Excellent video. Rusty. Headed out to this part of New Mexico in a couple of weeks. What can you tell me about two campgrounds near Ruidoso? Cedar Creek and South Fork. Just car tent traveling this time out. No hookups, etc. Thanks in advance. Spiderhead, I don't know anything about Cedar Creek or South Fork. I have never camped there. I miss those out of others, millions. Joe the Great, I always, I'm always awestruck at the lack of traffic every time you take us out for a ride. It looks like, it looks as if someone issued a shelter-in-place warning to the whole town. Love it. Me too. Thank you, Joe. Uh, life in small town, John Gertback, small town, USA. My kind of living, nice, quiet little town, that, no gangs, no crime, safe. I don't know about it, it so far. I mean, that's all I can say. It seems okay. Uh, Rex, Rex Arrest. Hey, Rusty, good video. This is on uh, old Lincoln Town. <clears throat> 
get yourself a four quart instant pot and you can cook your beans in 45 minutes and doctor them up the way you like cook a turkey and turkey breast in 30 minutes that and a toaster oven are all that's needed for me to cook I should sell or donate my stove a four quart instant pot I might check on that uh, life in a small town PJ frog 10 well now rusty you don't have to drive all day just to get to the New Mexico border you're already here that's true now you really now you can really explore the entire state that I've grown to love since 1971 when I moved to the state of New Mexico got two here on Prius camping from Anya Elohim Elohim E L O H I M where did you buy the potty uh I think I got that at Walmart but you can get the same thing at Amazon I may leave a link if I think about it how big is the mattress and where do I get it? Uh, it's 26 by 74 and it uh, comes from Amazon. It's a tri-fold memory foam mattress. I'll, if I think about it, I'll leave you a link. PJ Frog 10, great video. John Bruce, the temperature range is also quite nice in Car 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 or Capitan. Average high in June, 84. Low, January low is four, January low is 49. That's not correct. <clears throat> that information is wrong. The January average low is in the 20s. Well, I'm not sure of that. I could be wrong. That's the average. It can get colder and hotter. He's got a deal link to the weather deal. You can always, uh, what is it? it? says the way you're doing it is a really good plan. If you want to go somewhere you can and stay away from cities, you can always go to one if you need to. Small towns are best. Absolutely. This is Der Trixa. Nice drive. Greetings from Germany. Well, greetings to you, Der Trixa and the Gates and all that stuff. <clears throat> But anyway, guys, I'm going to go check with the city this morning, kind of see what the regs are and the restrictions, because that's what happens. You start looking at a piece of property, and you find something, you have this plan, you're going to put your RV on it for six months, and then you find out, whoops, not that area. No, over there, you can only put it for two months, or you can't put it there at all. <clears throat> so just to verify. And I haven't had any response on any of my inquiries about the properties I'm interested in anyway. So anyway, guys, from Capitan, New Mexico, hey, Google, tell us a joke. I think circles are pointless. What can I say? Hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The current temperature in Bangor is 63. Hey Google, how far is it to Kingsland, Texas from Capitan, New Mexico? It's 522 miles to get to Kingsland from Capitan by car. Oh, okay. That's how I plan to get there. <clears throat> okay. But anyway, guys, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything your little heart desires. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission and it doesn't cost you one penny. Some of you have used the link and some of you are using it on a regular basis. And I appreciate that very much. Next, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. It's good for you. It will help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it will also help you lose weight. If that's what you need or want to do. What else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in deeply. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? That relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure and that's good for you. What else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Walk, walk, walk. You know, keep your body in motion. You know, stay loose and uh, you'll just feel better all over more than anywhere else. Uh, what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside your head. Avoid talk shows, avoid the news, avoid soap operas and all that stuff, and you'll be fine, okay? But anyway, guys, uh, what else? Uh, anyway, do what you want to do. It's your life. It's your brain. You know, if you wonder why you're a little stressed sometimes, you might want to ask yourself what you're letting in up here. But anyway, having said that, enjoy your life one day at a time from Capitan, New Mexico, in a 16-foot travel trailer. All this luxury is all mine. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.